Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna color my hair and I'm gonna also do a small little haircut on my hair and just do some makeup, you know, just nothing special, just kinda like goof around. This is how long my hair is before I cut it. I'm trying to, my goal is to cut off at least four to five inches and just take off some of the hair because I do get lots of knots in my hair and this is how long it is. First, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair, and once I'm done washing my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out and layer it. Um, that way it could be easier for me to cut it. Uh, I did fast forward it, so you know the details of uh, when someone does brush their hair. <laughs> I hate brushing my hair, I have a very sensitive scalp, but I have to do it because I do want uh, to do a good job in cutting my hair. I did use some water uh, to keep it wet because my hair also dries fast and just to um, make it easier for me to cut my hair. Here I did separate the front two sides and right about here is where I would like for it to cut it. I don't want to cut off too much because really, I'm not ready to have it too short. Here I'm going to use a hair tie to pretty much a roundabout idea or a place where I would like to have my hair cut and just tie that real quick. It just does make it easier. It doesn't have like a messy hair everywhere. So around here is where I would like it. Just grab a pair of scissors. Uh, the only thing with my scissors is that I happen to find a house full of scissors, the dullest ones I could find. So it did take me some minutes to uh, cut that off. Not too bad, but anyway. So move on to the next one and do the same thing. Brush it out and then tie the hair tie like a guide use that uh, more or less where you want to cut the hair and try to go around that and once you're done with that um, start splitting your hair in the back in two parts one on each side and use the one you just cut as a guide to go around and I do the same thing on both sides however on this side I really wasn't paying attention so I went over and I do happen to have one side a little longer than the other as you can see here uh, it was a little too long so you just get the scissors and just trim it and try to get it as close as you can here you will see there's probably like a half an inch to an inch difference that I went overboard so you just like I said you know brush it out and go back and trim some of the ends off not a big deal um, hair does grow back Okay, next I'm going to move on with the hair dye that I love to purchase. It's called Biggin. And I, I usually go to Sally's and buy mine. I usually get two or three boxes at a time. Number 59 is my favorite. And it comes with the directions, the gloves, and the container for the water and your uh, hair color. You just uh, follow your directions. It's a powder form. Not very much in it, so I don't need very much. I'm just going to uh, retouch up on the roots on the top of my hair and mix that along it'll start off as a white powder as you can see here and eventually mixing it and mixing it let it sit around you can let it sit around for up to 20 minutes it will get darker i'm going to use vaseline to protect my skin from the hair dye put that around my forehead my sides and this is what it looks like before that's at least two inches long i kind of let it go this time <laughs> So as you can see, it's changed to a green color, and if you let it sit around a little bit longer, it will get even darker. It's just going to work even better the longer you let it sit, but, you know, I went ahead and did that. And as usual, I'm not an expert at doing hair dye or hair coloring, so I just do my own, whatever works for me. Um, my daughter in the past has always done my hair, and I just learned from her. And she's very, very patient, and, um, well, I'm the opposite. I'm not. So I try to get every little hair and baby hairs that I have and the side hair without getting all over my ears. So I'm learning all the time and that's what I did. And I also, once I do the hair dye, I do love to let it sit for a little bit and use my fingers to mix the dye in between my hair. And uh, as you can see, it's already changing colors. It's already turned dark. It's not as green as it was at the beginning. And I'll do this just to massage it into my roots and tie it up. And that takes about 30 to 35 minutes to do. Rinse your hair out. 
And when you're done with all that, this is what it looks like. Clean it up as much as you can. After I rinse my hair, um, basically I feel like it does a good job. As you can see, it does my baby hairs. It did all my roots. And go ahead and take off the towel so you can see how well it did. And that's why I love this hair dye. I mean, it lasts between three to four weeks before I have to retouch it again. And it's to me, it's very mild. I don't, it doesn't smell like harsh chemicals, but that's just me personally. It's not very expensive. And like I said, I usually get it from Sally's and I love it. Okay, next we're gonna follow that with the um, blow dryer. We're gonna dry our hair as much as we can. Um, my hair is extremely thick, so it does take a while to dry. That's okay, just to be patient with it. Okay, and then uh, before I put the oil in, I'm gonna go make sure that my hair measures up evenly because I did mess up a little earlier, so I'm gonna even that out and make sure, measure that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some oil, hair oil, this is from Suavecita, and as you can see, I ran out, so I have to go back to Sally's and get some more hair dye and more oil. Anyways, all right, before I do the flat iron, I will put oil as much as I can all over my hair and have the flat iron ready to uh, straighten out my hair and I just love when my hair is really straight and clean and dark like this I think it's gorgeous this is my personal opinion alrighty I'm almost done straightening my hair so if you guys ever do go to Sally's and purchase that big in, um, hair dye please on the comments let me know if you tried it and what you thought about it Okay, so I'm going to cut my bangs with this haircut called uh, Vampire Bangs. And it looks similar to this and this. So let's get started. I'm going to use this oil to make it soft and, you know, manageable to cut. Um, make sure my hair stays close together. All right. My bangs did get pretty long, but... Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut across with some scissors. I did change scissors, which are a little bit more sharper, which is a good thing. That's about three inches or so that I cut off. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and start um, cutting the shape of a vampire uh, for the vampire bangs. And I've always loved vampire bangs. Um, I just think they're really cute, my personal opinion, of course. So here I am going freestyle and just go up with it as much as I can and go up on the sides. Then I will go on the other side and try to do the same thing. And like I said, the scissors are pretty sharp, so that really helps. And there we go. I'm gonna trim a little bit of hair that's been stayed behind. And then I'm gonna use the straightener to curl that in, the ends in, just to get an idea if I need to cut some more. And for now, I think it looks okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just play with it a little bit and proceed with our makeup. And we're gonna put makeup on next. For my primer, I'm going to be using the Melanie Mills Hollywood. I'm just going to use my hand and spread that everywhere. Get that ready for my foundation next. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Pacific Pacifica Alight, which is my favorite right now. I just love this foundation. Uh, put some little droplets and use a beauty sponge and just tap away. And for my setting powder, I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit, it, Fit Me with a Kat Von D brush and just brush along my face and make sure that I've um, set all my foundation. Next will be the contour from Bessa May and the Deep Bronze. Uh, this is actually foundation, but it's really dark, so I use it as contour. As usual, uh, my cheekbones under my chin and around my nose and brush that out.
For my concealer, I will be using the KKW Beauty um, under my eyes, bridge of my nose, on the side of my mouth. And use a little sponge to blend all that out. For my brightening powder, I will be using uh, KKW Beauty also. Um, I'll use that under my eyes and wherever I use the concealer to set all that. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the brand called Narrative Cosmetics I found on Amazon. It looks like this. It's very creamy. I'm going to use that to prime my eyes. Um, it's usually a FX cream palette and I'm using an art brush, <laughs> I know it's weird, to uh, apply that onto my eyes. It's very creamy, like I said, very rich and thick, and I loved it. And then I'm going to go back and use an Morphe brush to blend all that out. Now, I also found this um, blush, it's called, uh, it's from Colab. The name of the shadow is called Chatty. I bought this from Sally's for $1.50, and I just basically put that right over the primer that I just um, laid out on my eyes, and it sticks together, so it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm gonna use that, and just continue to put that on my eyelids. I'm also gonna use the actual eyeshadows for what it's meant to. Uh, as my blush and I actually think this is my favorite blush now I just love the color and the way it blends it's so gorgeous for my lip liner I'm gonna use this uh, lip liner I got from boxycharm it's from a brand Jessica and I can't pronounce her last name uh, the color is in mocha and I think it's a gorgeous color I'm gonna use a lipstick uh, from ColourPop to complement my eyeshadow. It's a little darker than I wanted it, but it's okay, it still goes with it. And my usual uh, liquid eyeliner from Milani, Stay Put in Matte, is my favorite. Actually here, I think I'm running out, I need to get some more. I'm just running out of everything, that's so crazy. Anyways, um, so that's my favorite uh, liquid lip eyeliner. And here I'm just gonna attempt to do uh, another wing over my crease, like a double wing. I've never done before. I said, ah, why not? Let's just do something wild today. So we already got the crazy bangs and now the eyeliner. <laughs> okay, and here we're just gonna do the last uh, minute of the uh, curling of the hair and brushing and making it look nice and setting everything in place for the finale <laughs> as you can see my vampire wings are not the best but i really enjoy doing it i'm going to use some setting spray from morphe to set my makeup and here is my final look once i start messing with the uh, stop messing with these bangs um i really like doing them and i hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up if you like it let me know what you think about this look i appreciate you coming by and watch and i had a lot of fun bye